welcome back to a new day. I can't say good morning today because it's the same day as yesterday. But anyway, welcome back. Oh, right, so one thing I forgot to mention is my hair. <laughs> now, it did strip some of the colour. It's been quite a few vlogs since then, isn't it? And I keep forgetting to mention it. Did strip a tiny bit. I'm noticing my grey is a little bit more at the top. And it is lighter at the top. Somebody had said, I can't remember your name, I'm really, really sorry. Somebody had said, just keep rinsing and rinsing and rinsing and rinsing. But as you saw, I was having, I, I did rinse quite a lot out. But as you saw, I had quite a lot of trouble with the shower tray. So, you know, that was a bit of a ooh-ah that day. Right, so on the travel trolls, I have just opened this, uh, this wonderful gift. <clears throat> and I feel like I haven't justified how happy I am about this. Now this has all been crocheted. Her name's Deborah, but I don't want to say the second name. She wanted to get off to me before my birthday, but then obviously we announced we were going away and stuff. So this is all crocheted. This is wonderful. This is what Sammy does, the lovely Sammy. <laughs> My Sammy, I miss Sammy. And it's beautiful. So we've got like a scarf. One of these are called a cow. I think this is called a cow. This is gorgeous. Look at that look handmade with love on the buttons it, even the color of the wool is just amazing and you can only imagine the time and effort that's actually gone into that so i've got one of these a scarf and i've actually got two headbands as well oh i don't know where the other one is but the other one is pink and it looks like this oh i'm sitting on it there we go so they're gorgeous as well thank you so much deborah I, honestly i really really appreciate those so definitely will be wearing those. Uh, just received um, a couple of parcels. That was one. A um, couple more from eBay. <laughs> I've actually been shopping on eBay. So now this, I know what this is because I can sort of see the colour of it. I've actually got one of these, but this one looked nicer. <laughs> so I thought, and don't get me wrong, I've had mine about 10 years probably even 15 actually if I'm totally honest this and oh my god it's so much nicer than my one who remembers me wearing this in the summer the size is different actually I think the size is bigger on this one than mine that is in well good Nick so I don't think Dan likes me in this top but you know come summer it's a nice little boob tube keep you cool and that is gorgeous that's actually in really really good Nick for considering I didn't buy mine like 10, 15 years ago or 12 years ago, whatever. They've obviously bought that, having a clear out and they've never worn it. So, well chuffed for that. It only cost me two quid actually. I ain't no snob when it comes to clothes, second hand clothes or anything like that. Now this dress, oh this particular seller, she had loads of gorgeous stuff. Really, really loads of gorgeous stuff. So I bought this. I think this one's actually got tags on it. Now this one did cost me quite a bit. But it's the way she sold it, okay? She had gorgeous pictures. She looked gorgeous in it. She had the title. And it did cost quite a bit. But I bought this for me, well, not only just for the summer holiday, but for the summer as well. I just hope it's going to fit. Oh, it is brand new. <gasps> 75 quid. Wow. 75 quid okay right i might not fit into it yet <laughs> but it's gorgeous look how pretty that is look can you see how pretty that is it's a long kind of uh, and she, i'll tell you what she's been really sweet as well because i didn't actually get it for about two weeks and when i contacted her she was being really sweet about it so that's a dress so th that did actually with postage i think cost me about 55 quid but it's a nice dress. I don't know the brand. I don't know the brand. I didn't go by the brand. I just thought it was a nice dress. She looked gorgeous in it. In other words, is that is that actually a brand? Now, don't get me wrong. I would never usually sort of spend that. Not even on a brand new item, let alone something secondhand from eBay. It smells clean. So it, it, don't, it don't even smell clean. It just smells brand new from the shop. I ain't no snob when it comes to secondhand clothes. Right, let's talk about second-hand clothes. Right, now, quite a while ago, I bought my dry robe coat. Now, this cost, I bought it off dry robe. Hey up. 
<laughs> I'm just about to go into my dry robe coat. Coat. I haven't told them yet. What are you up to? I'm looking for a lead. Just ignore isn't it, me. Isn't it hot in here? It's very hot, yes. This thing is better than our heater. It's, it's so hot in here. <laughs> right, anyway, let me go into my coat. So I did spend, I think it was 170 quid on the coat. As you all know, I've, all right, I've worn it a few times in the morning, but I've really not, not worn it. Got a bag with it as well. That probably cost 35, 40 quid. Still even got the tags, look. <laughs> right? So, it's bulky. Look at the size of it. That won't fit in my wardrobe. I need to get rid of it. I need to get rid of it. So, I'm actually offering this to one of you guys. <laughs> Now, don't get me wrong, I'm going to wash it. I'm going to wash it properly down in the washing machines. It's um, This is the new um, one as well with the pink liner and the black and white. This is the new style. It is a medium, but when I say it's a medium, don't get me wrong, that's going to fit anybody. <laughs> it really is going to fit anybody. I'll put it on just so you can see. And I've literally just been wearing it in the awning like this, just, you know, whatever. I don't have anything in my pockets. I've got money. Oh, two old pounds. Literally two old pounds. Dan had gone to, um, oh, I don't know where they came from, but he wanted to throw them away. I was like, hey, you ain't throwing them away. I'll keep those. Two old pounds. I'll do something with them. Might open a trolley if nothing else. Mightn't they? Right. So anyway. I'm willing to give this away to one of you guys because I'm sure you're going to appreciate this more than me. I did love it, don't get me wrong, I still love it, but it's just too big. It's too big for the van, it's too big with me living in here and we are literally on a major clear out. So like I said, as you all know, I, I mean I've hardly sort of really worn that, I say I've hardly worn it, I've worn it in the awning. But for what? A month or two? Um, so that's your, if, if, if you want it, please contact me. Let me know, because I know that I'm probably going to get quite a few people saying I want it, I want it. So let me know why you'd like it or something. It don't matter. I'll send it to you for free. Not abroad, not international. Can't do that. <laughs> That'll cost a fortune. And please bear with me also to get to the post office. Uh, the cop. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> the car we usually use or get to use, kindly get to use, only arrived back yesterday or the day before. So please bear with me if I do get to, if I pick you and I get to send it to you. But like I said, that'll be all washed down in the machine. And what I was thinking is, because it's quite bulky, what I'm going to do is then put it in a vacuum bag, brand new vacuum bag, clothes bag, and suck it all in <laughs> and then send to try and find a box I, I haven't got a box or anything like that so if you'd like that please let me know a medium and honestly that will fit any size really that really will so let me know I'm not really fussy I just would like it to go to somebody that will make use of it Dan's like this is why I'm offering it to everyone because he's like just take it down because I've mentioned that I want to get rid of it and he's like take it down like the clothes we always get rid of our sh uh, clothes down into a clothes bank always um, we never go to charity shops because ju we just can't we're not in that position we always take them to clothes banks and he's like just get rid of it put it in the charity bin I'm like no nah, what am I lot might like that yeah so I'm willing to pay for postage and everything and a uh, gift from me Right, so we've still got the shepherd's pie in the oven, um, ready to be cooked. Um, what else can I talk about at the minute? Haven't got nothing else to talk about, but going back to this story again, if you want to contact me, not in the comments, contact me via my email address, which is in the link uh, description down below. And I'll just pick somebody that, you know, I might only ever get one person that might, might want it. You know, at the end of the day, it is second hand. I'm not snobby about second hand clothes. And, you know, I'm sure none of you lot are either. Right, gonna leave this one for this for now. Just quickly, <laughs> I have actually just finished my quilt cover set as well. It's obviously inside out, but 
that's a whole fresh set set now that has to go on maybe tomorrow and then get that one washing but this one at least i can wash that by myself and that's today's tea so i've made myself leftover tuna from yesterday but i've actually put a little bit of salad and stuff in there so i've got a sandwich i have made a couple of um what are these triangles called again babe triangles I always forget what they're called hash browns hash browns but that's the sheppy pie dan loves it like that so <laughs> oh <clears throat> but he's not feeling very well yeah dan ain't been feeling very well since the minute he got out of bed actually if i'll be honest i think i'm gonna need a bigger spoon than that so he don't want over facing let me just plonk that there for a minute can't find my spoon yeah so Dan don't want over facing so I'm not going to give him a tremendous amount I'm just going to put a little bit in a bowl bless him he's not feeling very well today but that looks amazing and it smells gorgeous oh we've got no meat in that let's get some meat So it looks like all this is going to be leftovers, but I'm sure Dan might fill up to it a bit later. So I've done a big bowl, which he didn't want, but I'm going to see how it gets on. And of course, he likes brown sauce with his sheppy pie. Well, it is the next day. So today we've been doing nothing but shopping. Been to about five, five shops. Been to Aldi Lidl. Aldi, Lidl, Tesco's, M&S, Aldi, Lidl, Tesco's, there was another one, M&S, I can't, oh Iceland, we've been to Iceland, so I'd ask everybody was this a cheaper lure pack better, not better but is it a good substitute than lure pack? Oh my heavens, the comments. I didn't know which way to turn. Uh, everyone was like, yeah, this one's good, that one's good, this one's good, that one's good. So I was really kabobbled, <laughs> kabobbled, whatever. So, I have literally bought, oops, I'm dropping things. I have literally bought every brand I can from those shops. So we've got Norpak, we've got Dane Pack. Aldi, Lidl's, all sorts. I can't remember the shops. I'll have to go into it tomorrow. Dairy Pack. Obviously the Lure Pack, but that's not a new tub. That's just my old tub, so I can... I know what that tastes like. I'll still try that. And Tesco's Butter Pack. The only one I couldn't get to was um, Morrison's. Um, um, also, we went into M&S. Now, they didn't have like what I would say was meant to be a replica of Lure Pack. It just said lightly salted butter. So I thought, I can't go down that road. Otherwise, I'm going to go to every shop and buy light, lightly salted butter or salted butter. So unless if it said sort of pack at the end, I didn't want to buy it. So Dairy Pack, Nord Pack, Nord Pack actually. I said that wrong. Dane Pack and Butter Pack and the pack so i've got all these to try coming on fej very soon but it won't be today so all i've got to do today now is our last meal for dan's healthy ish ish week which i said to you all it was going to be kind of like a, a takeaway takeaway sort of stuff now dan likes to eat in bed right and he always complains to me that he never gets breakfast so i'm going to do him breakfast in bed today mcdonald's breakfast in bed how about that honey mazzy mcmuffins that's what dan calls these these are homemade mazzy mcmuffins sound good yeah what as long as i've got that uh, steak steak cutlet and chips for supper oh don't talk to me about that he is gone because he's had such a healthy week he's gone off and gone mad today and bought a load of load of rubbish but i've still got two good meals i can squeeze in next week because i bought 
uh, tacos again <laughs> so that'll be healthy is she and I also bought bacon and cabbage like Irish bacon and cabbage so I'm looking forward to that one day as well so I will squeeze them in next week and break up all this rubbish you'll be eating so yeah so this will be a video to come uh, the prices and everything were unbelievably cheap so looking forward to actually trying all these and don't panic none of these are actually going to go to waste even if I like them or don't wait, uh, like them they are not going to go to waste we go through butter and we'll be using these right so next time you see me I'll be making Mazzy McMuffins breakfast in bed And there's the ingredients it's all just cheapy stuff if i'm totally honest just i think everything's from morrison's actually yeah morrison's muffins or butter muffins and they're nice and thick usually the cheap ones can be quite thin so i do prefer to actually go better on those but they didn't have a better option but also they, they're actually just grand so just cheapy morrison savers um cheesy slices and I'll be totally honest, I actually probably prefer those than actually Darily anyway. <laughs> They're actually nice. Uh, six, uh, six eggs, not that I need six. And some back bacon. So the first things first is to get the rolls of muffins toasted, not rolls. Now one thing I haven't actually mentioned and I keep forgetting, or have I mentioned this? I, I forget. I tell you, I feel like I'm losing the plot lately. Um, is my hair. Have I actually mentioned my hair? It's definitely got a little bit lighter, especially up that bit. Um, I don't know about that bit. Look, that bit is actually totally different colour. So it has stripped some colour. Actually, I do remember talking about this. So whether I do use the second kit or not is going to be another thing. Believe it or not, though, I do actually feel better now it has lightened it slightly. It's just that, that it was too dark. It was too totally dark. But like I said, it was now showing me greys and everything. But never mind. Uh, I did get, um, went through the messages this morning. I think it was uh, Mick. Uh, or was it Nick? I think it was Mick. Said to me, did you get my Valentine's Day card? I didn't get no Valentine's Day card. No, I'm really sorry. It hasn't arrived anyway. Um, your name was Mick something or Nick something it was. I haven't actually replied to all the messages yet. It was just a glance on the way to shopping. I just noticed it. That's why I can't really remember your name properly. But no, I haven't received no Valentine's cards. Would have been lovely to have done. Um, and I didn't even get one from Dan. So, <laughs> but no, I haven't done, no. But uh, I can assure you, we do get all our mail. Well, I, I presume we get all our mail. Right, so anyway, first things first. Let's get these muffins cut in half and get toasted. So this is a job that actually can be pre-done because it can take time, especially with my little pan. This is the best pan to do this. You know when you just have a lovely pan that you just really love and enjoy? Well, that's my pan. <laughs> oh, have I done it right down the middle? I don't like it when you cut it and it ends up being really thin on one end. Right, so I have to technically do one at a time. I get the, might get the second one done. So I don't know how many to do with these because I'm not entirely sure what I'm having for dinner yet. I might end up having one of these. Um, also then, don't forget, I bought these like wrappers, didn't I, from Amazon. So these are like food wrappers. Now you can use these for burgers and stuff so these are going to come in handy and i'm going to use those to wrap dan's breakfast so he can have breakfast in bed hopefully then there'll be no plates and stuff like that and also with that i'm going to be doing a couple of hash browns as well uh where are they i need to get those out there we go so what i wanted to do is make McCain hash browns. So what I wanted to do actually is make like a little pocket bag, little make a little pocket bag and put a couple of hash browns in it. So it all feels kind of like a takeaway, you know? So I'm just gonna do a few of those. I don't really know how many, he probably wouldn't want too many. So if I do, I'll just do four. 
and I'm sure that will be plenty. I'm starting to smell done. I'm just, yeah, I'm just going to flip them over. And then let's get another one ready. This one looks like a good one. Dig deep for that one. But Dan would like that. <laughs> We're just one of these people that we like everything burnt and black. <laughs> right, so that's definitely got to be done. Just flip it over quick. Wrap that up in a bit of foil. And these are pre-made then. Dry frying pan, by the way, no butter, nothing. Well, that's how I do mine. I don't like adding excess sort of oils and stuff. If and if you know, we're just toasting it, aren't we? So I'm actually going to do all four. I've got four muffins because Dan will have two for dinner, and then he might have one a bit later on if I wrap it up next to his bed. And then maybe I could have one. <laughs> these are nice. I do like these. I've actually got a really nice muffin um, recipe that, I, not recipe, but a thing I used to do years and years ago. But they were wholemeal, and I don't think I can get wholemeal anymore. I used to buy them from Sainsbury's, and I don't go to Sainsbury's sort of anymore. But yeah, one day I'll get round to doing that. Right, so that's the second one done. Yep, that's plenty. does um, smoke out your van doing this but it's worth it <laughs> so this will actually be the last of like I said the healthy she meals I've been trying to get into him but we'll see I, I will keep trying this week <laughs> I did give my all of my hob and my worktop area and everything a good sort of deep clean to today a bit of bleach and everything give it a nice scrub So I have actually also had another comment about the lead coming across here. Now it's for the dehumidifier or the washing machine. But trust me, that's that's not over the flame. It's, it's nowhere near. And trust me also, Dan has also gotten on at me about that. But it, it's, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. It's not flitting over there. So it's fine. I know it seems dangerous, but it's fine. So I'm going to put the oven on everything I can just reheat a bit later anyway right bacon's on but what I've got to do now is try and make my little bag for these little hash browns like I said I know he's not going to want many but let's, let's try and do it the same way as the takeaway does it shall we I think I only need one of them don't I uh, so I've got some sellotape, <clears throat> big thick stuff, so I need to kind of just make a bag really, don't I? I suppose that could do, maybe that could do doubling up. Um, let me think about it. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually just going to split it down the middle and then fold the corners in like that and there's your little pouch <laughs> that's fine might be a bit long though might be a tad too long let's cut that down cut that off as well we'll go to we'll go a bit shorter on that one well that is definitely shorter isn't it and hopefully the sellotape will stick my um little story quick story for you my father used to make us always like a little bag of oh i need to I need to get you up here for this one this one was so cute and I, we all loved it so he used to always make us get like some grease proof paper make us like a little bag and sellotape it and stuff and we'd have homemade chips proper homemade chips and we'd go to bed with like a little bag of homemade chips with, you know salt and stuff like that vinegar probably had vinegar back in them days i wouldn't now <laughs> and yeah 
they were so lush. And then I do remember it carrying it on with my family as well. So hopefully they might have the same lovely memories that I do of having these bags of chips handmade like in a little handmade bag, so to say. Yeah, this is gonna be fine. Yeah, one of my lovely, lovely memories actually that is. There we go, little, little tiny little bag. <laughs> that can go in the bin. But what I did notice though, if you don't do it properly, the um, grease will sort of unstick the sellotape. So you have to put lots of love into it, you know? <laughs> That's the only way it will stick. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've got the bacon on and can pre get them wrapped up and just bung them in the mic if need be. At least they're made. This is the only sellotape I have in the house at the minute. Let's just get rid of that first bit. Right, let's bring it back down. <laughs> Tell you what though, it does save on washing up and stuff, but it gives a nice feeling to your dinner that night, doesn't it? Either either feels like takeaway or it's got that special touch. Like when my dad used to do it, you know. There we go, there's two bags. Two bags. <laughs> Bacon's cooking good. So to do my eggs, I actually do them in this. Brilliant so much like McDonald's <laughs> so I did put quite a lot of bacon in this but I do know it shrinks so I thought I thought it would make room eventually and it has it has actually made room so two each is going to go into each bun I've counted all the cheese out so I like to put two on each bun sounds a lot but you know it's a, it's a treat it's a treat now, also, instead of bacon, now McDonald's do do bacon and egg muffins, but there's another alternative which Dan actually particularly likes, and it's the sausage McMuffins with the egg. But unfortunately, I couldn't get to test. I did go to Tesco's today. I could have picked them up. They do like sausage patties in the freezer, and apparently they taste just like McDonald's, uh, and that would have been perfect for this. But Never mind, never mind. We had bacon to use anyway, you know. Don't like to waste food. So yeah, these, uh, if you like these sausage patties instead, they're the ones to get at Tesco's. I did look the last time I went shopping. Not today, I mean the last, last time. And I couldn't find them. But I don't think that was Tesco's, that was Morrison's and they don't have the same alternative. Right, we do like our bacon, especially that fat. That needs to be crispy. <laughs> Otherwise, I will cut that off because Dan don't like fatty bacon, but no do I. So I'm gonna just place in, oh, one of these into the bottom of the roll for now. So that's one done. And then once you've got everything in, put one on top as well. But you don't have to, that's just rubbing fat on a pig's bum so to say <laughs> one is plenty I suppose <sighs> but that's how I like it <laughs> Dan likes brown sauce with his personally I don't like anything don't even butter butter these Right, there we go. Let's get these wrapped back up again. Ready to go. Well, the bacon is really done now. <laughs> I've just flipped them all over. But what I'm looking for is to get that fat crispy. So let's just hope I can get that fat crispy. Onto the eggs. They're well done. Like literally well done. And the fat's crispy as well. 
and I've waited also for this pan to cool down so I need to I'm a little bit on the slant so um have to um <laughs> have to bear with that really right so this is where this gadget comes in handy this is good it makes like these aren't large eggs though mm, they're not large eggs but th they'll do they'll do so I have to do one at a time with these because I've only actually got one. Right, go and wash my hands. And then once that sort of sets, I can cut round it and then do another one. Just gonna see if that's right. Okay, that's kind of in shape. Oh, I ain't got room to put it. I suppose I could put it there. Ah. No, I think I'm going to have to just be patient. Get one done at a time. Oh, I can move it. Let's get another one on. So I've got four to make. See on that one now, that's not doing a full circle because of the lean. <laughs> there we go. Have to hold the pan up. <laughs> that should be enough. See if we can flip this one yet. Now if you don't want to flip these, big tip is just put a little bit of foil over the top and it will cook it. But for Dan, I think he'd rather he's flipped. <laughs> So I'm going to flip it a little bit. <laughs> so that's something I always do as well, <laughs> is put the cheese slices on the edge of the worktop and they're ready to go. It's handy. Right, so this one's going to be done. Let's start filling this one. So two bits of bacon. By God, they're crispy now, aren't they? <laughs> Maybe I did them a little bit too much. Not for Dan though. Nothing could be too much for Dan. Put that on top. Slice of cheese. And there we go. Mazzy, Mazzy McMuffin. Let's see if we can get another one done. Oh, kind of broke that one. Oh no. Oh no, kind of destroyed that one. I did it too early. It's getting impatient. Let's <laughs> get another egg in there though. Oh, wash my hands. Right, let's give this, see if we can give this a little flip. No, I've done that one way too early, but hey ho, let's turn the heat up a little bit. So there's several ways to wrap these, I suppose. Look at that, look how delicious that looks. Dan can add his own sauce, I'll let him add his own sauce. One Mazzy McMuffin.
And the last one. Hopefully I get to eat this, but if Dan wants it, obviously, <laughs> it's his, isn't it? Let's turn that off. So that's all done. What a quick, easy dinner today. I don't like sauce like Dan. There we go. How delicious is that? Right, so there we go. Hash browns. Mazzy McMuffins. It's a McDonald's breakfast in bed. Are you hungry or starving, darling? Starve hungry. And a little touch. I've even got McDonald's salt and pepper. Look. And actually, I've even got sauce. I've even got sauce. Trust me. I even have some sauce. There we go. Mm. Some McDonald's sauce as well. There you go, babe. Right, at this point, I'm going to wrap this one up because it's been one hell of a day for me. Anyway, I'm getting tired now. I've got my pyjamas on. I'm going to love you and leave you. and see you in the morning. Love y'all. Bye.